everyone assalamualaikum here we will see how to go ahead and create our own powerful laravel admin panel like this so of course in this short tutorial i'm going to cover the basics of this tutorial where you will have a dashboard you can see users you, see, you can see products you can see orders you can see categories you can also manage your addresses and banner a lot of other things so let's go ahead and get started so first here we'll see how to install Laravel and then we'll see how to install Laravel admin package. Now first I'm going to copy this command and then I'm going to come to a terminal over here. Make sure that you have a project folder ready. Put it somewhere in your directory and then I'm going to copy this one. So this is going to create a project name is example app that would be a Laravel project. Let's go ahead and hit enter. So of course it's gonna download a lot of uh, files that needed to uh, start up this project. So we're gonna wait a few minutes. I think it's gonna download everything. Okay, cool. The downloading is done and then we are going to do this one. Copy the command and generate secret key for our project. Okay, now here it says that couldn't open the file artisan. Okay, now to be able to do that, we need to be in into our projects. Over here, our project name is example app. So we're gonna do cd example app. And after that, we're gonna paste the command. And then it says it uh, automatically generated code for us and then we're gonna do php artisan serve like this so our project should be up and running in this uh, port and this local host address so let's go ahead and try our project over here and we'll say it's up and running let's hit enter okay so our laravel project is up and running so what is the next step our next step is to install this uh, so our next step is to go ahead and install this beautiful admin package. So how to do that? Now to do that, actually, we need to have our database up and running. Okay, so I'm going to create a database over here. So I'm using MySQL Workbench. You can use MySQL PHP MyAdmin or other tools there uh, available in the system or ecosystem. So here I'm going to go ahead and create a table first. And I'm going to call it Laravel. You can actually call it anything you want. And then I'm going to apply and apply. So with this, we'll see that over here, we might have a project ready. But yes, uh, sorry, a database ready. So this is our database and it's empty. Now let's go back to our terminal over here. I'm going to close it and I'm going to step back one directory. I'm going to do ls and then I'm going to open it. And as I open it, I'm going to drag and drop in our VS code. A lot of will uh, here my credentials are okay so these things are all fine and then over here database name was laravel my username is root and i'm going to set up the password any dummy password so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to save this one all right now of course this is a bare bone laravel project right now it doesn't have any backend so let's go ahead and install the backend now to install this here it says it go ahead and copy this command so let's go and do that now this time once again I'm gonna make sure that I'm inside this project so I'm inside our Laravel project root folder all right okay now I'm going to put this command over here so it's gonna download the package okay so everything has been downloaded and now over here let's execute this command Okay, everything is done and over here it says that with this actually we're going to install the package so let's hit enter and everything is fine up and running beautiful now it did say that this is the time that we can go ahead and open it up in our local host so let me go ahead and copy now previously I did this one so over here actually I can do admin and here it says that the project is not running why the reason is because we didn't do PHP artisan serve so now it would be up and running and refresh it here we go now at the same time if you come over here at the same time if you come over here it says that your password is admin admin so let's go ahead and type in so here username is admin 
and password is admin so I'm gonna type it in and then here login so here we are and everything is great now we have this dashboard of course nothing is here right now okay it's all empty now I have dedicated tutorial on this so you can go ahead and check it 